Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and we are on the marketing website for AWS under Global Infrastructure. And this is a great way if you want to explore more and uh, make sense of that global infrastructure. So if we scroll on down here, we have a nice map, and it's kind of indicating as to where uh, those regions are. Notice that there is uh, ones in red, which are coming soon. The Canada West, they've been talking about that for, I think, a couple of years now. So still waiting for those. But, you know, just like every cloud service provider, they're always expanding. Looks like we can get a full list here. Um, and it should indicate where, uh, when they launched and if they're launching uh, more things. So, you know, that is a nice little list uh, that we can get access to. But if we go all the way to the top, across the top, we can go to regions and AZs. Uh, and this is where we should get better information. This is definitely different from before. And I don't think the top of Canada is supposed to look like that, but uh, I guess it's the best that they can do. So uh, what I want to point out on these pages is uh, the terms of uh, the number of resources. So I'm just going to bump up the font because it's a little bit small, even for me. And we go on down below here, you can see that it's describing, um, let's say, a particular region. So here in Canada, we can see uh, we have three availability zones. And when it launched, uh, sometimes they have these asterisks on here. So it says located in the Montreal uh, metropolitan area. So that's a good indicator because Central Canada could mean Toronto, could mean Winnipeg. So that's why they put the asterisks on there. Um, but just notice that what you'll usually see for availability zones, you'll never see anything beyond six. I'm not sure why, but that seems to be the max. Usually when a region launches, it should have three availability, availability zones. I think in the past there might have been some that did not have um, at least three. And the reason why it's important to have three in a zone is that is how we get high availability. Uh, the way you do that is you should have, um, let's say we're talking about compute, that compute should be um, running redundantly in two other uh, data centers in your region to ensure um, that you have uptime in case the other two go out. So uh, just make note of that. If you're coming from Azure, Azure uh, will launch things without having uh, all of their uh, zones. Uh, GCP is really good where they'll always at least have three. So uh, each provider works a little bit uh, differently there. Um, but yeah, you can see here for um, North America, and we just scroll through here, you can find your particular area and look at the uh, map uh, and wonder why it's so distorted. But yeah, hopefully that gives you kind of an idea there. And if you want to explore any of these other uh, particular offerings, you absolutely can. Of course, we do cover in the course, so it's not really necessary to do that. But I thought uh, it'd be nice to show you this page. Okay, ciao.